Hello again and uh, welcome to another one of my tutorials. Um, today's tutorial is kind of a follow up to last week's video which was how to airbrush an image. Um, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to change the hair colour and the eye colour on an image. Um, so yeah let's get to it and go ahead and open up Photoshop. <coughs> um, the first thing we want to do is import our picture. Uh, I've already done that. Um, if you don't know how to do this just hit file open or as you can see it says there control O is the shortcut on the keyboard um, and then once you've done that we can get started so the first thing you can want to do is create a copy of our background so we're just going to click and drag and uh, drag it onto this little icon here and as you can see it will create a background copy um, the only reason we're creating a copy is so we can see the before and after of our, of our image um, but I'll, I'll show you that later so now we've created a background copy we're going to want to head down to that same icon but this time just click on it um, you don't want to drag and drop anything onto it and as you can see it will create a new layer I'm going to go ahead and rename this layer so I'm going to right click on it head up to layer properties and just call it hair colour um, once I've done that I'm going to head to this little drop down arrow just above it and uh, make sure I've got soft light selected um, so now we've got our layer and this is what we're going to be painting onto to change the hair colour we can head over to our brush tool which is just under our spot healing brush tool um, then head up to this little drop down arrow and make sure our hardness is on around about 30% um, so now you're going to want to size up your brush um, to the size of the, what you want to work with. Um, you can do this with the square brackets, left one makes it smaller, right one makes it bigger. I'm just going to keep my brush around about, yeah, sort of that. Um, and now head to the palette and select the colour we want. For the sake of the tutorial I'm just going to go with sort of like a, a bright pink maybe. Yeah, um, and once you've got your colour selected just begin to paint over the hair um, like so um, try not to go onto the, the, the face too much or go off of the hair too much you know if you do make a mistake um, we can always just use the eraser to rub it out I'll show you that in a minute So as you can see here I'm getting close to the face but not actually covering it. Say I do make a mistake and sort of cover the face a little, like so. Um, I'm just going to head over to my eraser tool. Hit this little drop down arrow again and make sure my hardness is on around about 80%. And then I'm just going to erase it. Um, check if I've gone over any here, just erase down here. If when using the eraser you do erase part of, the, part of the, the hair that you've painted, you can always just bring up your brush again and then repaint it on. Um, so, you know, pause the video, go ahead and paint the rest of your hair on. You know, yours is going to take a bit more time than mine, hopefully, because you'll be uh, looking to get yours a bit better than mine. I'm just rushing it for the tutorial. Um, and once you've done that, we can move on. Um, so now the next step we're going to want to take is to merge this hair colour layer down with our background copy. We can do this by selecting our hair colour layer and then hitting Control E on the keyboard and then that will merge it down so when we hit this little eyeball tool we can see the before and after of the um, hair colour. Um, so now we're going to want to move on and get round to changing the colour of the eye. So if you head up to the little tool just under your move arrow um, and make sure you've got your elliptical tool selected we're then just going to cover the eye with a really rough circle you know it doesn't have to be neat or anything um, then head down to this little icon here click on that head up to solid colour again I'm just going to use a, a pink, you know, if you want to change the eye colour to blue or whatever, just 
select a blue but I will be using pink for the sake of the tutorial um, and then OK that and as you can see it kind of looks like it's like Pirates of the Caribbean because we got an eye patch covering the image um, and we don't want that so we're going to hit this little drop down arrow and just make sure we got colour selected this time and that will make it blend with the image below um, so now as you can see that's, an, that's too bright of a pink um, for me so I'm just going to hit this little arrow again and drop down the opacity to about 35% you know you mess around with it get it how you like it um, and then once you've done that uh, we're going to want to zoom in on it again bring up our razor tool make sure our set settings are the same 80% hardness I'm going to size the brush up again with my square brackets and then um, I'm just going to begin to erase any pink that I don't want um, when you're using the square brackets shortcut to change the size of your brush the left one makes it smaller and the right one makes it bigger I don't know if I said that earlier so I thought I'd just cover it now and um, so yeah I'm just going to continue erasing any pink I don't want as you can see I'm not taking too much time with it, it um, you know take as much time as you want but you don't have to be too careful because we got our opacity turned down so it blends instead of contrasts with the image um, so now I've done that I'm just going to right click and hit fit on screen and as you can see the eyeball's pink but maybe still a bit too pink so I'm going to turn it down to 30 um, yeah that'll do um, I'm going to select this layer and hit Control E again so it merges with my background copy and then hitting this little eyedrop tool you can see the before and after um, so that's how you change the eye colour uh, and, and the hair colour um, and if you just hit this little eyeball, eyeball tool you can see the image before and the image after so thanks for watching this tutorial I hope it helped I hope it helped um, I know my commentary was a bit sketchy but I was trying to rush it um, so comment below let me know how I did and hit the like button if you liked it and the dislike button if you didn't like it thanks a lot